Welcome to Cooking from the Cave. I'm Chef Pete Truziak and today I'm going to be showing you how to make trout and papillote. Trout and papillote is nothing more than taking fish, some great vegetables, and steaming it in parchment paper. You could also do this dish with, uh, with chicken if you would like, um, or um, really any type of fish as long as it's a probably no, no thicker than one inch in, in thickness. Um, fillets work, steaks work as well. So. Uh, what we want to start off with, these are two rainbow trouts, and this is freshwater fish. They're round fish, so you're going to have two fillets. You're going to find the pin bones that run from where the head was down towards to where the tails are. And they're usually about a half to three quarters of an inch on the rainbow trout. Salmon have the same bone structure. You're going to just rub your fingers and find where they are. You'll take the tip of your knife and start from where they end. They're not going to run all the way to the tail. They run about three quarters of the way back towards the tail. And my knife, I can feel the tip of it touching the bottom or the skin of the fish on the other side. Come over here, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. What I'm doing is I'm cutting at a V angle. And when I pull those bones out, I'll show, it'll be very evident as to what I was doing. I'm going to remove that meat and what you've created is almost like a little valley there, but you've removed all the pin bones. The next thing you're going to remove, and you'll do that on both sides, the next thing you're going to remove are if there's any cartilage down by the side fins, and there's a little bit down here, and typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that at an angle, and I'll repeat that on the other side as well. I'm going to show the removal of the pin bones on that fish again so what you're looking for is about a half inch to three quarters off of the back spine run your fingers along the meat there you'll feel where the pin bones start and finish and we'll, we'll take our knife from where they finish at an angle I'm going to drag my knife down through the meat feeling the skin underneath with the tip of the knife underneath that meat itself and then I'm going to come on this angle and I'm going to come through here and remove the meat surrounding the pin bones. Now, the pin bones will pull out very easily. They'll make eating a lot easier on this dish. Your guests can just uh, don't have to worry about snagging on any bones or anything like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're also going to remove any cartilage, any excess cartilage that are around the side fins. And what I find easier is if you hold the knife at an angle down to the cutting board and you're just going to want to cut through that cartilage, remove it for excess, and then the back spine, we're going to do the same thing we did with the pin bones. So we're going to cut it at an angle, and I'm going to use my pair of scissors here, and I'm just going to snip out that excess cartilage holding in the back fins. I'm going slow and it seems like it's a lot of work but it really is very simple and it will make enjoying this dish, dish uh, much easier. All my bones are removed on that side, I'm going to repeat it over here. So again, remove those pin bones. The knife's at an angle. And then find if there's any excess cartilage, which there is right here. And the weight of these fish um, and what they're calling this is dressed. The weight of the fish before it's dressed is roughly about eight ounces. So each one would be an eight ounce portion of trout. The skin is still on. Head can be removed or you can leave it on. If the head was on, you would just cut it off. Tails can be left on. Sometimes if, if they're on, they look very pretty in presentation or they can be removed as these are. Everything else is ready to go for our next steps on this dish. The next thing is the parchment paper, which we're going to steam the fish in. And what I find is if you take your parchment paper, fold it in half, say lengthwise, and you're going to cut a heart out of this. So go back to kindergarten and start at the tip down here. Go as far out on that parchment paper that it will allow you to do. Go 
as high on it as you possibly can. And what I've cut here is a heart. Now, your heart you're going to want to lay down on your roasting rack, which I have over here. And you want the crease to be away from you. So you want to eventually fold this over. So lay that so you can kind of treat it like a book. And take your fillet, or your fillets I should say, your trout. And I find that if I'm right-handed, I'm going to start on the right side as I'm looking. If I'm left-handed, I'm going to start at it that way. It's just easier because you're going to manipulate that parchment paper and fold it all around. We have to season our fish first. I'm going to season it with some black pepper. A little bit of uh, kosher salt. Pinch of uh, paprika. And then our vegetables. Our vegetables are a combination of root vegetables. I have some carrots. Some purple potatoes that I've julienned up. And if you notice, I'm just trying to cover the fish with the vegetables. Put some broccoli. A few tomatoes. And don't worry about this stacking up too high. About a tablespoon or two tablespoons of sliced or julienne shallots, some fresh thyme, about a teaspoon, a little bit more cracked pepper, a little bit more salt. And I love this dish because it's so simple to make and something you can make in the morning, write a note, say bake in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes and it's going to be done. I follow it up with a touch of olive oil. And again, this can be used for any fish um, or even chicken. A little bit of white wine to help it steam. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the one side of our part, fold it over like we're closing that book up. And I'm going to start at the very tip or the base of that heart, the point. And all I'm going to have you do is walk around and make triangles with it. So we're going to take our fingers here, fold it, make our first triangle. It's going to fold up so, or, or, or it's going to want to pop up. We're going to then make another triangle and each time we do that our triangle gets a little bit larger. And we're just going to continue to make triangles, creasing that parchment paper down so it makes a good seal. Another triangle. Another triangle and continue all the way around. Now it's that simple to do this. Be creative, have fun with it. I'm going to duplicate that whole step with my next fish. All right, we're going to transfer our and poppy oats into the oven. My oven is set at 400 degrees. I'm going to put it in the mid section of the oven second rack, somewhere in the middle. I'm going to set my timer for, uh, I'm going to say 15 minutes, and we'll come back and I'll show you the next step. After 15 minutes, our trout can come out of the oven. And what makes this dish so simple and so delicious is that even though we're putting it in a hot oven, even though we're baking it in the oven or roasting it in the oven, we're still the simple principle of steaming goes on in here. So the heat from the oven heats up your fish, creates moisture in there. That moisture will cook your vegetables as well, obviously, as the fish itself. These are extremely hot little pockets right now. So even though this is not red meat or pork or anything like that, I want you to still give it about five minutes before you do anything. So let it rest for about five minutes. All right, so like I said, plate up's easy, very elegant though. There's just going to be a lot of steam coming out of here. So um, either use a pair of scissors or you can use a very sharp knife. What you're going to do is you're going to open up that heart for your guests or your diners. So I'll just start with a little 
pull with the knife. A serrated knife works great too. And I'm going to just cut, kind of follow my shape of my parchment paper. All the way around. And doesn't that look great? We can garnish it with a little bit more fresh thyme if you would like. But it's really as simple as that. Your trout and poppy oak made simple from cooking from the cave. I'm Chef Pete Truziak, and I will see you real soon.